Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Invisible Ink. This is a procedurally generated roguelike game that is balls hard. And when I say balls hard, I mean balls hard. <laughs> uh, it is by Klee Entertainment, uh, the same folks that brought you Don't Starve, and I believe Mark of the Ninja as well. Well, there's a few others. Um, I have been playing this a little bit. Uh, this is the early access version. Uh, not completed by any uh, any stretch of the imagination. Let's just start a new game here. And we'll go into story mode. Endless mode is something you have to actually unlock after you've done story mode for a bit. Uh, but we'll go in here. And then we'll select our team. So what is this game? Um, it is a, as I said, a procedurally generated roguelike. Uh, it will, um, I guess it, uh, it bears some similarities to other roguelikes out there, um, obviously, because it is, that's the categorization of it, but uh, it's heavily emphasizing stealth, and uh, uh, basically this game will teach you if, you, if you, if you always thought that you were not a, um, what is this, uh, classified, so I, I, I I've been trying to. I've been playing a few times around here, so I've uh, a few rounds. So I have a few things unlocked, as you can see, uh, by the green bars. Uh, right now, I think I only have three of the characters unlocked. Uh, there's only four characters in the um, early access version right now. So let's just go with these two folks because I'm used to them. Uh, and then. Uh, in story mode here, you have 72 hours to, pre to prepare for the final boss mission, which I don't know if the final boss mission has been completed yet or not, but this is this is what you have so far. And I have not gotten back, much past. Incognito is picking up some strange patterns in the global market. We don't know what it all means yet, but it's accelerating. We should prepare for a major action in the coming days. This won't be easy. Our resources are stretched thin. I've lined up some lucrative contracts and targets of opportunity that we can exploit to better our position. I'll let you choose the missions as you see fit, but be careful. We can't afford another setback right now. Right, so. You have 72 hours. I have not gotten past much uh, of the game. Uh, I, I Occasionally I will get past one of these <laughs> areas, which uh, change randomly. Uh, but uh, <laughs> not much beyond that. Uh, as I was as I was alluding to, um, it will. This game will show you just how much of a how much of a greedy bastard you actually are as you play it. Uh, if you always thought you were not very greedy, uh, you'll probably be uh, surprised at how greedy you actually are when you go through here looking for stuff. It's very guarded, and that is guarded. That's eleven hours to get there. Seven hours travel time, 11, 10. All right, let's go to the closest one here in Kabul, uh, Afghanistan. And let's uh, let us infiltrate. It looks like we found a hole in their security here. This facility handles payroll for the entire region. Look for a large stash of credits. The window on this won't last long. Get out before they can get reinforcements on site. All right, very good. Let us start the mission, and we'll jump in. You'll see exactly what I've been trying to talk about here as far as how the game goes. Alarm system. The corporation's alarm system tracks intruders over time. At each new alarm level, more security is brought in, so time is of the essence. Now, this is, this is a big deal here. This alarm level. All right. Uh, time to make a profit. Remember, your ages are good, but not bulletproof. Blah, blah, blah. Then get out of there. Right. Uh, this alarm level is very important. Uh, as you as turns are burned off here, uh, the alarm level will increase by one segment. Uh, eventually, the levels will increase here, and as the actual level number increases, the difficulty of the enemies increase. You'll get more enemies on the screen. You'll get different types, faster enemies, uh, so on and so forth. So there's two modes here as well. Uh, right now, I'm in the normal sneaky sneaky mode. Uh, if I hit spacebar, 
I go into what's called inc what they call incognita. Uh, I, I wish this this woman would would shush here so you can see everything here. Um, she should shush after I <laughs> after I move around a bit. Uh, but incognita gives me the ability to hack uh, all manner of things, uh, so terminals and um, drones and camera systems and so on and so forth. Uh, we get power. Uh, right now I have 11 out of 20 power for programs. Each program that you run requires power, certain levels of power, and you'll see those on the map as we get as we get closer. Right now, this console that I happen to spawn in the room with, uh, if I hijack it, I will get two additional power to my to my level here. So that is that is the first thing I'm going to do. So let's uh, let's select actually let's select Deckert first. Have him come over here and hack this console, please. And as you can see, I got two more power. Also, I have a power up. Um, that after the first turn I will get one power my corporation that I'm in anyway has a power up that after I after my first turn is burned out uh, I will get one power uh, regenerated each turn uh, there's I believe three corporations in the game as it stands right now um, I think uh, there's a fourth one planned uh, I, I have not played with any of the other ones yet uh, I don't I'm not even sure how to play with the other ones yet or if I can so that's a thing uh, also you can see that there's all these little icons around here first of all the blue areas on the on the map are where I can run to or walk to you see everything takes action points and I only have a limited amount uh, so I'm gonna come over to this wall here uh, or not because I'm blocked she, so your other characters will actually block you for moving that's kind of the that's one thing that I don't really like too much is that your characters will actually block each other um, so if I accidentally put the, my guy in front of the door, now she can't get out on her turn. So you got to be kind of, uh, you know, you have to plan ahead a little bit, which I'm not, I, I've never been good at. Uh, unfortunately, I can't move him anywhere that is important. Uh, let me actually switch over to International right now using the tab key. Let's bring her over here. Um, or, oh, oh, there's a chair in the way. I didn't even notice that chair. All right, let's bring her over here then. And the reason I'm bringing her over to the wall is you can see that there's these little icons on the wall here. Those are the peek icons. It means I can listen to the wall and, and peek around doors and everything. Peek around corners. So let me peek out this closed door here. Make sure there's nobody waiting for me on the other side. And it helps me to also to plan which way I want to go. So I'll have her come over here. And then she can peek this way as well. And then that is that takes one uh, action point, so the peak. So she's now exhausted all her action points. And so far, so good. I don't see anybody there. So we'll tab back to Deckard and have him, I guess, come over this way towards this door, although he's not going to be able to make it all the way there. Um, and then that's it. We'll just end our turn here. And as you see, the alarm just increased. Um, and here's here's the power drip I was talking about. My agency has provided the power drip program. Program automatically generates one power at the start of each turn. Uh, so that's good. So I got one one additional power now because of the next turn. Uh, the alarm level, as I as I said earlier, went up one more segment. And over here, you probably saw this this arrows and stuff. That means that there we can hear a um, an enemy guard moving around, and this is the predicted path of the enemy guard, so or that they have taken. So that's what that was all about. There's also a door here. It's hard to see. This is one of my complaints about the game: is that uh, you probably really need a way to flip the screen around from time to time uh, because it's hard to see some things. Like there is a red door right here. Um, that is a password or pass key locked door so I can't get through that until I get the pass key and usually that requires knocking out one of the guards and taking the pass key from them uh, so let's have Deckard come over here and do a little peek job I can peek through those through those uh, um, doors I just can't open them without the key 
Uh, you see, here's the here's the guard here that he he has gotten a peek of, and it's an elite security. So he blocks any weapons with tasers without armor piercing. So that's gonna that's gonna be uh, a little bit rough. Basically, I don't think I'll be able to take him out unless I have armor piercing upgrades on on my weapons, which I don't think I do. So hopefully he moves out somewhere else. I can also click on it and observe. I can use burn. I think it burns one action point. And I can observe where this guard is going to go, predict where he's going to move to. Also, you see here there's a corporate safe. This is where the... Um, this is where the game starts to... This is where your greed starts to kick in. The corporate safe here, I can hack it in incognito mode. Right? As you can see, it'll take one power to break this firewall on it. And then once I've done that, I can have my agent go in and steal stuff from it. Usually money or whatever else. Maybe whatever else is, is required by the mission. So on and so forth. Um, but with that guard in there, it's not really a good idea to do that just yet. Uh, I would like to know where this guy is going to go to, though. It looks like he's going to walk back through that door that way, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, so, with that being the case, let's bring Deckard into here now. And I'll just keep him there for, for a moment. Um, so, we've got some more doors here. It's a good thing I know about this door now. I don't th That door is going to be not something that I need to look at. And so let's go back to International and have her go this way. Hopefully there's no one out this side that I can't see. Uh, what is this here? Ah, Nano Fabricator. Okay. That's a good thing. So Nano Fabricators are, if I, once I hack them, which I, I think I will do here. Uh, oh, this is running a demon program. So I'd have to. This is this is a new one for me. I haven't found one like this before. Uh, so I may not be able to actually hack this thing without uh, being able to break that demon. Um, let's see. Let's see what happens. It might actually alert everything. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, well that that really tr cranked up the alarm level there. That's what I thought was going to happen. And at the, as you've just seen, at alarm level one, the cameras begin to become active. If there are any cameras in range, um, you get usually one more turn before they actually become fully active. But it's uh, still something to keep an eye on. And we got three action points there. Let's peek around this door real fast. And then let's come over here. Don't have enough action points. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go this way then. And we can't get to the nano fabricator yet. All right. Very good. Very good. Ah, sorry about that. I had to cough for a minute there. Throat's a little scratchy. Alright, so this elite security guard should be heading that way. Hopefully he leaves the room so that my guy can get in there and do his thing. Let's break this anyway, just in case, since I have the power to do it. And we can't do anything else. Let's end our turn. Uh-oh. Okay, there's a guard right down there, it looks like. And there's apparently a camera here somewhere. Or at least it says this location is watched by the enemy. I don't know if there's a camera there or if there's a guard somehow walked in there. I didn't see a guard anywhere. Um, and I don't see a camera on here either, so I don't know how that's... I don't yet know how that is watched by the enemy. But we can at least, it looks like, um, come in here, hopefully. Let's see. Can I go through that door? 
No, it's not letting me for some reason. I wonder why. There's no valid path there. Let me see. Uh, oh, here we go. Alright, we'll see what's in the safe. We got 190 bucks out of it. And unfortunately, we're now kind of trapped in a bit of a rut here. So let's see if my guy can hide over here a bit. And because this other, I suspect this other guard is going to head back here at some point. So hopefully I can stay relatively hidden from him. We'll switch back over to International here. And it looks like there might have been a guard right there. Let's come in here and do a peek job. Yep, yep, there's a guard right there. And she's kind of trapped here. She has nowhere really to go. Except that way. Um, which is not a very good way at the moment. So let's just bring her over to the Nano Fabricator and see if we can buy something that will be useful to us. Uh, Neural Disruptor 2, Insufficient Funds. What, what does it do? Um, okay, it's basically the same as what I have, only a little bit better. Right? Armor, oh, this has got armor piercing. That's what I need to take that one guy down, which I don't have yet. Uh, piercing Scanner. Shoots and me Oh, shots and melee ignore one point of armor. Okay. Uh, do, do, do I don't have any guns. I only have I only have tasers really with me. Uh, make noise. Uh, med gel. All right, I only got six hundred and ninety dollars, just short of what I need there. So we can't do much with that just yet. Uh, and I think I'm just going to end my turn. Okay. And now that guard is over there. And I can't take him out because this guy this guy has a has heavy armor on. And I need something that is armor piercing. That said, I could put my cloaking rig on, even though it's got a long cooldown, and use that to get out of range here. I think though. I don't think when that guy turned around, I don't think he saw over this over this section, uh, or at least he didn't see when he walked in. So let's just uh, let's just leave our agent there for the moment, and I guess we're gonna have to hmm, I have to have her come down here now and try to come out. Oh, oh, okay. So where was this camera at? All right, so apparently there was a ca oh there was a camera right here. I didn't even see that before. All right, well we've hacked it, but it did manage to raise the alarm level a bit. So now there's an interest point here, and security is going to be headed this way. And unfortunately, she's not in a very good spot. Uh, and it looks like this guy might have been the one that was alerted to it. There's not much I can do there. Um, I don't have a gun to do Overwatch either, so <laughs> I guess we're going to end turn and see what happens. Yeah. So guard Overwatch. A guard is about to shoot your agent. Your agent can quickly hide behind any cover within one square, or you can send another agent to give support. So looks to me like uh, I am going to lose this agent because there is nowhere for her to go and my other guy well he can get there but he's not gonna be able to do anything about it uh, because he can't he can't knock that guy out as far as I know uh, but we'll try it why not nope nope not enough action points. So, yeah, it's not going to work out so well. Uh, let's see if we can get her over to cover. Nope. Intruder down. Nope, she's down. And this is this is by generally how all my missions go. So, 
This is not surprising me in the least here. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's it's all it's all going <laughs> it's all going to hell right now. All of it. I can't use this when uh, while I'm watched by an enemy because that won't work. So yep, we're, we're pretty much pretty much screwed right now. Uh, so let's see if I can run away. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yep, that that that's about that's about how all my missions go in this game. I did manage to get through once once in a while uh, if the map is a little bit easier. This map just happened to be extremely difficult. Um, let me see if I can. I kind of want to do one more map so you can see how it's how it uh, works out when you know with being a uh, procedurally generate. Plus, it brings you back here. So, I, what I was saying too, the Neural Fabricator, that allows you to, that's like a shop in-game, allows you to buy stuff while you're in-game, as you saw. Uh, normally, you would only be able to buy stuff in between missions or before missions, uh, like right now. Uh, so, that is that is why that uh, is very important to hack at some point. Alright, let's just begin. Alright, and let's see if we can... Let's see if we can pick something up here. I'm looking at the security level. This one's guarded. This one's very guarded, so I don't feel like doing a very guarded one. Guarded. Very guarded. And guarded. Uh, let's go to Lima. Let's do that. They're decommissioning this facility. There's a lot of data going through that place. Look for a central server. The chopper is fueled and ready to go. Bring us back something nice, will you? All right. Cool. That is our general overarching mission. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have to actually do it. it just, I think you get a bonus if you do it. Um, really, your goal is to, if I'm to be completely honest, your goal in this game is to just get to the elevator <laughs> without being spotted or without, you know, getting killed along the way. And we didn't even get far enough in the last map to even see the elevator. So that's that's a thing. Um, have him come over here. And we'll do our little peak job. Okay, so far so good. Uh, what has he got? Two, two left. It's not going to be enough to get through all the way through the door. So rather than have him block the door, I'll have her come through the door. Aha! Uh -huh. Very good. Let's hijack a console. Since we're close enough to do it, apparently. And then we've got a nano fabricator here, which is excellent. Cool. And we'll get, uh, get him in here as well. And then have him just close the door behind us. That's the other thing I keep doing, is I keep leaving doors open, and that, that tends to alert guards as well. From time to time, it's, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes they're alerted by an open door, Sometimes they're not. It's I don't know if that's just uh, a random chance or if it's just the you know the early state of the game. Okay, we got a guy just outside, just outside the door here. So let's get um, let's get Deckard over here and have him peek around. Okay, so far so good. And we'll come over here maybe. Alright, there is a... It looks like there is a camera here. Unless that's... Yeah, it must be, it must be some camera. I just can't see it for some reason. Oh, there it is. Over there. Right? There's the camera. Um... But how is that camera being seen? Unless there's a camera here. Let me try hacking this. Yeah, it says this is watched by the enemy. I don't know. Oh, there might be one up here, maybe, in the corner that I can't see. I don't know. I don't know. Let's come over here and see if there's anything that I can 
can buy from the nano fabricator that would be useful to me. Police dart gun. gun. <laughs> uh, click this weapon to aim and shoot an enemy. Uh, knocks out a guard for two turns. That would be rather awesome, actually, rather than having to be right up on top of them. Uh, what is that? That's $1,000, though, and I don't have the money for it, unfortunately. Uh, we have a demon sniffer here. That would have helped in the last... The last map, uh, so let's do a little peak job. Again, something is watched by the enemy here. Probably another, another camera. I don't think I can, I can't really get through that door without tripping it off either. So let's come back to, let's just end our turn right now and see what pans out. Okay. Ah, now we got the security camera here, which I should be able to hack. Very nice. And yeah, there must be one over here too that I can't see right now. So let me have him come over here. And I still can't see it. All right, so we'll hack this, this safe. And have him come up and uh, take the contents of it. 150 bucks. Uh, very good. And I think that will be about it for him right now. And now that I've hacked that camera, although there was a there was a guard patrolling down here, uh, I think we can come over this way and hide, sort of. What kind of guard is this? Uh, okay. So, it's just a, he's just a plain old security guard, which is good, because I can, I can probably knock him out. Should be able to knock him out with my current tools. Let me have her come over this way a bit. And do another peek job. Ooh, all kinds of stuff in here. It looks like another camera as well. Oh no, there's a guard in there. Okay, what does this guy got? Okay, he's a regular guard as well. Alright. Keep her there, I think, for the moment. Uh, it's not not the not the best way of doing it, but uh, she also has this wireless emitter, which will tell me if there's all the stuff in the area. Will reveal all the stuff in the area. So there's a laser emitter there. Corporate safe. There's a security camera. Let's take that over while we can. And yeah, I should probably use that more often, honestly than what I do. Alright, I'll end her turn. Let's see where all these guys head to. Okay. Very good. That guy does not know what's about to hit him. Um, so here's Deckard here. So clearly there is something right there. See if I can get over this way a bit. Do another peak job. Alright, where is this where's this thing coming from? Um Hmm. Ah, there it is. Alright, let's do that. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a bug there because it's I peeked in this thing, and that somehow <laughs> made this security camera visible to me. So, not enough action points. All right, let's hide him in the closet for now. And yeah, close that door. Very good. And over here, I'm going to have International over this. Eh, well, actually, that's not going to do me any good. Um... Yeah, taking that guy out is not really going to do me any good. I could get into this room here, though, potentially. No, it's watched by the enemy. Um, can I get more of emitter? That's not helping matters. This way a little bit. Can I do that again? No, that's not really helping either. So if I go, oh, is that not console? Let's hack that. Um, looks like this doesn't say that it's watched anymore by the enemy. 
this guy this guy came out of that door, right? So if I come through here. Damn it! There was a guard down there. Uh well that sucks. Um Alright, we'll come over. Well, we have to get out of the range of that guy. And can I Alright, we'll have to come up here and want we'll the dispatch of this guy. At least for two turns anyway. Uh, let's steal his valuables. He's got credits and he's got a pass card. Not really going to help me though because this other guy is going to come investigate and find me again. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna suck. <laughs> this this is gonna suck really badly. Did I mention this game is really hard? <laughs> this game is really hard. Um, all right. So can I move her somewhere where she will not be seen? That's watched. I can move her diagonally this way. And then move, well, uh, I can sort of move her around. Is it noticed by the enemy? Um, yeah, this is going to be a, a little bit rough here. I can sort of move her over this way. Well, that one's noticed. Let's come this way. And then... Yeah, I could kind of put her here, but I have a feeling she's going to be noticed as soon as he walks in the door. But we'll, we'll try it, see what happens. I mean, it's there's only so much I can do in this in this case. I got myself into a into a bit of a a rut here. Um, this camera is apparently activate activated now, and I just walked right into it, which kind of sucks. I didn't even see the camera there. Uh, to let's um, back this way. Close that door. Come over this way a bit. All right. Well, that's about all I can do, I think. So let's end the turn. Okay, so now, can I get her out of danger if I can? There's a camera in there now. Let's hack that. And apparently there's another guard somewhere here who, oh, there's a camera here. Let's see if I can, this, this camera requires two hacks to get through the firewall. Okay. Very good so far. Now I think I could probably go through this door and get away from this guy. Um, although I don't know what's waiting for me back here. So what's she got? She's got five action points. Let's go this way. Let's peek. And it looks like there's another camera there. Um, hmm. Can I... Scan. That uh, didn't really help me. That's just for mainframe devices. So that one's pretty well noticed, it looks like. Um, hmm. I'm a bit trapped here. I could have probably would have been a better idea to just go through this door up here. But it's too late to do that now. Um, let's close this door. And. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't... Well, I guess I'm just going to have to leave her there for the moment. And then as for my guy here, should be able to hijack this to get some more power. Excellent. And I'll have him come down here and get ready to go through this door, hopefully. 
Although this other guard will probably go through there, right? No, no, he doesn't know where, where to look yet. And it looks like there's another point of interest that just popped up over there. Okay, so... Got her. Let her come over... Here, I guess. And peek through here. Another console to hijack. Good, all right, and that, that's all she can do right now. There's a bunch of things in here I'd like to take. Let's, um... Oh, the camera database, yes. All right, that's, that's good. That reveals the location of all the cameras on the map, which apparently I have taken control of all the cameras on the map, so there you go. Attack that. There's a laser emitter over there, which means it must be guarding something important. That's usually, usually the case, unless it's just randomly generated somewhere where... <laughs> there, there's actually nothing there. Um, and let's go to Deckard. Let's uh, see what you can see here. Ooh, very good. All right. Come through here, please. Close that door behind you. And yes, we'll take both of these. Down there. And steel. And up here. And steel. Excellent. Uh, what else? Ooh, corporate intelligence. Yes. That is very good. So now Deckert needs to survive in order for me to get some little bit of a bonus there uh, through the corporate intelligence thing. And I'm guessing either this is protecting the elevator or the elevator is over here. So I really need to get out of this place. Now she's got... International has the... Uh, has a passcode that she took off of this guard. Or a passkey she took off of this guard to get through this door up here. So that's good for her, but it's not good for Deckard because he's got to get around here somehow. And these guys are all... This guy that's on the ground is going to be getting up this turn. And this guy here is going to start looking around probably over there where that interest point is. So we're going to have to be somewhat sneaky sneaky here. Plus our alarm level is continuing to increase. Alright, so... Now what do we do? Uh, we go to her. There's another room down here. I don't know what that's going to lead to, but I could... I guess it would be a good idea to go there. Um, because... Well, I, <laughs> I have a feeling that this is just a dead end down here, honestly. So if I go this way, what does that leave me with? One action point. Um, which is not a good place to be because this guy is going to start patrolling again, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's do it. This might be a, a huge mistake on my part. Oh yeah, that was that was a quite quite huge mistake. I did not know that there was a guy standing right there. That's, uh, that is really terrible. Actually, I should have probably taken the, <laughs> unlocking that safe there, which I didn't do. Uh, yeah. And this guy's coming over that way. She's got her neural disruptor. Um, and I've got this. So we're already in melee reaction mode. So if, so if, this guy comes through here, which means he's going to have to turn off that laser to do it. Um, then she should melee him. Otherwise, what's more likely going to happen is this guy's probably going to come down here. And hopefully she'll be able to melee him when he does that as well. Alright, so now... Now, Deckard, where... Where, where shall I put you, Deckard? Uh, let's go... Let's put you right here. So you're in position to do something uh he's got a cloak so i could actually enable that and just run right by these guys uh although it only lasts for certain for a certain amount of time okay they didn't they didn't do anything all right well that's interesting um 
Hmm. So, with her, is there anything I can do here? This whole area is watched by this guard, which sucks because there is, there's, unless this door somehow leads to a hallway that comes up in there, I, it doesn't look like there's another door here, so there would be no way to get through this without that guard seeing you. Um, so with that said, let's come back down here, perhaps. And we'll take what we can out of the safe. And we'll just wait. We'll wait and see here. So I can't really get through that door then. Unless I had a gun to shoot that guy with. Um, like a trank gun or something. Uh, Alright, so. This guy did not move after all. Um, this guy, however, appears to be in the perfect position so is this all hidden along here? It looks like it. This guy appears to be in a perfect position where I can just take him out temporarily. So yeah, let's do that. Hey. Steal what he's got. He's got some credits on him. Alright, and we'll come over. Hmm. Can I get through that door? Yeah, it looks like I can. Uh, is there... Oh, there's no door over this way. There's no way to get in there except through this door. Hmm. Alright, well, let's come over here. And close this door. Good. Alright, now I'm kind of trapped in here. But I'll have him hide there in case this guy comes through the door. And then we can just hopefully take him out. Alright, well, we've done what we can there. Uh, corporation has installed firewall upgrades. All firewalls have increased in strength by plus one. Okay. So those guys are pretty tied up at the moment. Um, I can go here. Camera database. This point of interest looks like it's not going to get hit at all. Uh, so can I get her? How far can I get her? Here. Um, she's only got one action point left. Alright. I'll get her over to this corner. So she can wait and hopefully she can run through this door. And we can find out more about this area back here. Alright, now Deckard. What are you going to do? You can't... I can't use this again because it's got a three turn cooldown. I have two more turns left in the cooldown there. I could, however, use the cloaking rig. Um, so let's do that. And let's see if we can slip by here. Did you see that? So he, he noticed the door opening, which is cool. But he didn't notice me... Uh, Sneaking by. So now he'll go over and look at that thing. That actually probably worked out well. Let's end our turn. Alright. So. I think we can come through here now. Send Deckert through here. Hopefully. And have him do a peek job. Alright. That looks like it's empty. Which is good. All right, and we'll get International through here as quickly as we can. We'll get her up against the wall here, hopefully, and have her close this door. Good, and then I'll just use up... No, she doesn't have enough points. That's all right. Uh, she can stay right there for right now. Stay relatively hidden and in position to take out any guards that might come through the door. Yeah, these guys are these guys are running around like crazy now. They're looking at all all the areas. They're taking notice to open doors, so they're going to be coming through this area soon, I'd imagine. All right, so Deckard, you can come through this door now. Excellent. And then there's a door down here, so that's not really 
So that door would lead into here where this other guard is. All right. That might work out in my favor. A little peaky job there. Yep, that's where that guard is. So we might be able to take him out and get behind here or just leave him be and just walk around. It looks like that he can't see this little area here. So we might be able to leave him be and just get into this closet area. All right, so I'll leave you with one action point left. Now, can I get international through this door? Yes, I can. Good. Close that door, please. All right. We hopefully we're getting closer to the to the elevator here. Okay. What does this guy have here? It looks like. I can probably come through here without alerting this guy, but we'll see in a moment. Yep, I can. Alright. Uh, yeah, uh, there's no point in taking him out either, because... Oof. Okay. So there is nothing down here. Damn it, man. This door is the door I needed to go through. Damn it. All right, well, now we know that. Uh, let's try and let me just have him uh, hide in here for a moment. Now that we know that. And let him hide in the closet there. And then we got to get international all the way back through this place again. <laughs> uh, this, this, is, this is rather terrible. Come through here. Close that door again, and come up to here again. All right, and our turn. So far, those guys aren't walking around there. All right, let's get her back down here as fast as we can. Let's get her over here, actually. And... Close that door. Good. And then we need Deckard to get through here as fast as he can. Excellent. All right. So far, so good. Let's move to our next turn here. The alarm level is going to go up to three. Now we've got more guard patrols in the building, which is going to really make things interesting here. It's curious, curious about this point here. Oh, that's not good because I got to run through there. Uh, let's see if I can somehow get him through there. Is there? Is there? A Well, I don't think, if I run through it, I don't think they'll notice. I think it's just, uh, they're just interested about it. All right, let's close this door for a moment. All right, so now get her down here. Good, good, good. All right, that's all we can do for this turn. <laughs> it's getting getting a little bit intense here. Oh, that guy would walk right out there and... Ugh. <laughs> he would do that, wouldn't he? Uh, all right, well, I, this, I can't move Deckard at all this turn. It's not going to happen. Um, besides that, he's in good position here to do a little neural, neural job on this guy if he walks through this door. So he's going to be trapped there for the moment. Uh, we'll bring International down here and say... Okay, to what's going on here. All right, so we got some consoles. There's other things. Where is the... Oh, we got the server farm here. All right, well, that's excellent. Uh, but this is not... This is not the, the way out. Where is the way out? Have I looked at all of the doors? Oh, there's another door right there that goes to another hallway. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, okay. Change of plans. We'll have him go this way then. I didn't even notice that. 
Um, so, Deckert, you come over here. Do a peak job. Oh, that's where the elevator is. Are you freaking kidding me? All right, so uh, you come through here. Close that door again. And you get as close to the elevator as you can. Take up a little position there. So now i got to get International out all the way back over there. Oh boy, this is going to suck. This is going to suck quite a lot. Take all these. And then we'll come down here. We'll hack this. And might as well, might as well hack this too while we're at it. And what was, what was this anyway? Is this something to steal from? No. Alright. Alright, well we got we got everything we can get out of this place. So let's just come over here and just end our turn. Oh boy. <laughs> we got all kinds of guys between us now. Oh, this 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 is not cool. Uh, alright, Deckard. Um you are going to end up saving yourself. <laughs> I think um, I wonder I every time I've played this I've always tried to get both agents on here I don't know if the game ends if I just escape with one or or not I don't know how that works um, what I do know is that this this is going to suck quite a bit here all right do that we have him here. Is there doors? No. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens when I do this. All right, good. Okay. So we got one agent out. <laughs> We've saved one agent. It's just now the other one that we need to save. All right. Let's do this. Investigating. Guess it was nothing. Okay. Oh, there's new new interest points just popped up down there. Huh? That's that's terrific. Uh, we'll come this way. What's she got? She's got three action points, which is not going to be enough to let me get through that door and out to there. And it looks like there's yeah, there's still a guard in there. All right. So we'll end our turn here in case so she can get the jump on anybody that comes through this door. Hopefully. Or go completely unnoticed by guards coming through that door. Okay, that works too. So what's this? This gives me to two. Let's close this door again. And then we'll come over here and we'll hide out. All right, uh, now we've got an elite enforcer here. Uh, these guys are extremely fast, uh, so we need to make sure that we we do what we got to do here. So I can take this guy out now, hopefully. Uh, let's see, that's five to get there. She's only got five action points, I think. Doesn't she? No, she has eight. Okay, takes five to get there. Let's do this and do. Oops. That's all I want to do. Uh, nope. Stop that. Alright. Uh, take down this guy. Very good. And then let us get out of dodge. Close that door. Alright, we're almost. We've almost gotten through the first level here. <laughs> almost. Nice, nice. All right, through there, please. And get to safety. Whew, all right. That, that is how intense it gets after a while. Um, alarm tracker level uh, four, you know, the faster you get out, the more money you actually get because, you know, they have to do this whole cleanup thing. Uh, we got some corporate intelligence, which was the bonus that we needed. We got 100% map exploration, which is the first time I've ever done that. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, 1610 credits for that.
And we got both of our agents out uh, in time. So here's where I can then spend some of that money, some of the hard earned cash to upgrade my uh, agents that participated. So we got uh, hacking. I don't really want him to be the hacking guy. Inventory, anarchy, um, steal from guards, steal from behind. Uh, yeah, that would be kind of nice. Uh, plus one movement, plus one movement, plus two movement. Uh, so let's do this right now. Stealing. Uh, hacking, not really necessary, I don't think. And let's get uh, another inventory slot for him. All right, now for her, I'm going to get her hacking up, I think. Uh, well, let's see. Um, she could probably use a little bit more stealth but uh well no she's she's got yeah plus one movement yeah um she's got a lot of movement as it is anyway uh inventory slots not really necessary uh, the anarchy would be kind of nice and i can afford some stealth i guess inventory let's do inventory for her why not um, yeah, yeah, I think that's that's about good. Uh, and then it brings us back to the screen that we saw before. So uh, we can go on to another um, one of the other uh, <laughs> one of the other targets now. Actually, it looks like it's got us. It's given us more targets. Looks like because I don't think Tokyo was there before. That's good in Brisbane. Uh, and then of course 61 hours remaining and then it takes into the flight count and all that stuff. Reputation, everything, so on and so forth. You can pretty much see the way the game is going. So this was actually a rather long look at the game. I didn't intend to make it this long, but uh, I have been having lots of fun with it and I think it's a good way to show you exactly how the game is panning out at the time, at the moment. Uh, but I think I'm gonna end it here. This game is on Steam Early Access, I believe it is $15.99 right now. Uh, if you buy it while it's on Early Access, if you wait until it comes out, which I believe its release date is in 2015 sometime, early 2015, uh, then it'll be 20 bucks at that point. But uh, yeah, I, I like what I'm seeing so far. It bears some resemblance, I'm sure, to other games that are out there. Uh, but it's, it's also been a lot of fun, and it is, if you're really looking for a challenge, and as you can see, it's been quite challenging, uh, then this is probably the game that you're looking for uh, with the nice uh, spy stealth me mechanics along the way as well But that will do it for this look at uh, Invisible ink. Thanks very much for watching everybody, and I will see you next time mm -hmm.